Your Excellency, the Ambassador of Iran to India, Mr. Kalam Raza Ansari ji, dignitaries from Iran who are present here, our friends from Iran who have been living in Delhi and who are present here, friends from India, everybody present here, members of Information Broadcasting Ministry who have been helpful to organize this. I welcome you all for a feast on films for the next four days. I think uh, across the borders, people are the same. I believe that the joy, pleasure, pain is all quite similar. And when you see these stories in an interesting way in films, you realize the fact that the world is one, small, and lives together, grows together. It's a wonderful way to increase the friendship to bring the two people together by bringing the films of Iran to India. I was mentioning it to the ambassador that we will try and do the same and take our Indian films across to Iran. Our actors are very popular there and we should try and take our actors there as well and to, to increase this, this friendship between the two countries. When I was a sportsman, I traveled a lot, and I have developed great friendship with the people of Iran. And uh, though I've never been to Iran, uh, as perhaps a lot of us would not have been there, it's a mystical place that we all want to go there. And therefore, things like uh, bringing the films here, bringing the culture here in, in the manner of your artifacts which you've displayed outside, I think it all brings us all together. So I thank you for taking this big initiative. I was, of course, about to tell the ambassador that uh, the Iranian films were first made in India, but he accepted the same standing on the podium. And uh, then, yes, absolutely, uh, uh, Abdul Hussein Sepanta, as he was, uh, and Spenta, as he was popularly called, also produced films like Lela Majnu, which is pretty popular here in, in our country. The films in Iran have also uh, grown with the change of regime there, a lot of Western influence, a lot of theref therefore influence of their own country. And today, they represent some of the very important aspects of their Iranian culture across in the world. Their films are becoming very popular across the globe. And by bringing these films, I think even, even the Indian filmmakers gain a lot. And therefore, we need some sort of a collaboration with the Iranian filmmakers, with the Iranian musicians, and somewhere bring their technology which they use in the Iranian films to the Indian films, somewhere bring the stories of uh, the Iranian films into our Indian films and vice versa. I'm sure uh, the way the Indian music has expanded and has absorbed literally the music of the entire world, I'm sure we would have also used the Iranian music somewhere in our films. So thank you so much, and I wish you all the best. And uh, I do hope that the Information Broadcasting Ministry popularizes this uh, event so that more and more people, especially the uh, students who are learning Persian, come and see these films. Uh, uh, and uh, students from Iran who are living here in Delhi and, and somewhere in India also try and make it and, and see these films. Indians as well can come and see the films and see how the two cultures of the countries are similar. The visit of the Prime Minister to Iran, of course, uh, emphasizes the fact that Iran and India have been long friends from decades, and we need to strengthen our friendship, not just diplomatically, but also through films, through art, through culture, and therefore, uh, this is one big step in that direction. Thank you all. Wish you all the best.